thing about the UK's captivating capital is that there are so many attractions to enjoy. The only problem is choosing between them. London has it all. Shopping, museums, theatres and even a queen to visit. Can you believe there are 5,500 different restaurants and a staggering 200 theatres just in London? Maybe that's why 27 million people visit this capital every single year. Well, I'm here in the heart of London and I'm trying to find out what it is exactly that appeals to the people who are already here. Let's go and find out, shall we? What's your favourite thing to do here then in London, li living here? Living here, I'd say go out to one of the, there's so many restaurants, go to one of the really good restaurants and then go and watch a show, dirty dancing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we just good. got here, so what are you hoping to see then? Fucking Palace, among others. Yeah, and then that yeah. Ferris wheel. The eye. The, the London eye. Yeah. A perfect climate, powdery sand, crystalline waters, and a beautiful coastline scenery. Are you intrigued? Well, coming up, we'll be travelling from the Port of Chickens to the Flower of the Indies via the Beach of Love in our guide to the world's top ten beaches. What's the best show then to see at the moment? Um, I recently think? saw A View From A Bridge, which was really, really good. Um, yeah. All the musicals, um, Jersey Boys, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, there's loads of, loads of them out at the moment. Great. So. so to pass on my knowledge, if someone's not into theatre, what else would you suggest to do around London? Um, just go for a walk, <laughs> to be walk. quite honest. Yeah, just go for a walk around all the gardens and look at all the buildings. Have you been on the London Eye? Yes. And what's that like? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's it good? good. Yeah, you need a good day like this to kind of get a good a good um, viewpoint of everything. Is it really so. high? Because I'm actually scared of heights. <laughs> oh, no, you're not too bad. You're not up there for too long. You're kind of constantly moving, but you don't really feel like you are. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, yeah, it's great. Your English is brilliant. Where are you from? Yeah, from Greece. Greece. From Greece. Wow. And how long are you here for altogether? Yes. Seven days. Seven days. Great. Do you know any English songs? Yes. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Falling down. Which is lovely down at the embankment. Down by the river is really lovely. Or okay. um, there's lots of places, Trafalgar Square, the embankment. Um, lots of museums anywhere, really. It's just so vibrant and nice being up here. So it seems that because London is so vast, with so many different attractions, it draws people of all age groups and cultures. With so much on offer and fantastic weekend getaway bargains to tickle your fancy, it really seems like London is the ideal destination to visit. Join me next week while we'll be checking out the Big Apple. That's New York. Until then, I'm Louise Robinson. See you next time.